Good morning from Alayo and I. He's finally figured out how to make the fidget spinner go. And he's loving it this morning, right? It goes round and round and round and round and round. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> I am having my breakfast. Um, well, I didn't want any, so I'm having breakfast solo this morning. That's okay. We're going to, he has class today. Um, so we're going to be heading out. I'll take him to class. Mommy. And then I'm going to be starting something a little new. Mommy, I'm going to yes? miss you. You're going to miss, I'm going to miss you too. He's so sweet. I'm going to miss you too, sweetheart. Thank you. Do you guys like my shirt, by the way? It says no one cares. Um, but anyways, this is leading to what I was about to talk about. I'm going to start something new on both my YouTube channel and my Instagram page. And what I'm starting is like a shop with me um, feature. So what that means is since I find that I spend a lot of time outside window shopping, I figured I might as well share the things that I find that I don't buy with you guys. And the things that I buy, obviously. Uh, but I already shared that. But I want to start sharing beautiful things that I see out there. To give you guys ideas of what's out there in the world, what you can do, and then I'll probably share how I would, you know, use those things to decorate, etc., etc. Um, and because a lot of these things will be from like, you know, Home Sense, Marshalls, you might not be able to find them exactly because, you know, one of a kind. But in the case that you do find it, you know, and also helps you kind of know what to look for out there. So I'm gonna start doing that and posting pictures on my Instagram as well. Um, and they'll include things like shirts like these that I think are super cute and super unique. I'm going to start sharing those with you guys um, because I figure, sorry, because I figure why not next year as I'm in the dark. Silly me. So that's, look, hopefully you guys look forward to seeing that sit with me today. Grandma wants you. Um, I'm going to drop off at class at 11.30, so in the hour while he's in class, I'm going to head to a home sense slash Marshall store and show you guys stuff in there. So, see you later. Hello, everybody. Lyle's in the back, my right-hand man. Let's pull up these windows because I realize we're recording. Just picked up a Lyle from class. Um, I went to Winners while he was in class, but it took me much longer to get there than anticipated because just traffic. So I wasn't able to take my time and, you know, take pictures and record and all that like I wanted to. So we're going to another winner's now because ironically, I also forgot to take my returns with me when I went. So we went back home, picked up my returns. We're going to another winner's now. They usually don't have good stuff here though, so it's gonna kill my vlog and plan. Um, we are. Um, but I'll still show you guys, you know, what I see there and stuff if I see anything of value. I purchased a few things from the winners I went to. I just grabbed stuff that I already have that I wanted multiples of. I just grabbed those because they happened to have them. I'm not sure I'm going to keep the multiples that I bought, but I bought them anyway because I can always return them. Um, so, yes, we are off to do that and then we are going to get some Thai food for lunch. At Thai Express. At Thai Express. And then we're gonna sit outside and eat. I'm not sure if we're gonna. And in the backyard, sitting on cushions. I think so. Either that or we go to them. But I don't want to advertise that yet if it doesn't happen. Um, so I'm just gonna. We'll wing it. See how we feel. I think home might make the most sense because then we can eat and then go down shortly after and then there's probably going to be less of a struggle with getting him back home as opposed to if we went out it might be a little bit harder to get him to leave to want to go home um, so for that reason i think the backyard might make the most sense we'll see y'all we will see Guys, actually park all the way over here. 
jam session. Let's just. There we go. See you guys inside. So I walked in and saw this stuff here. Um, I was looking at this. I really like it, but I think someone already bought it. Yep, someone already bought it. I was considering buying it for our porch, but someone's already purchased it. But I think it is such a beautiful little hammock. I wonder how much it went for. I would love to know how much it went for, because it's gorgeous. I didn't even know someone already bought it until I started recording. Um, I was coming up to see how much it costs, but you snooze, you lose, I guess. I should have looked first. It's very, very sweet and nice. I want a hammock or something like that for our home, so that would have been perfect. Um, let's see what else they have here that I like. I like this guy here. But we don't have a country style home. I think that's meant more for a country um, farmhouse style house. I also love this big bucket of cold drinks, but we don't host things often enough to warrant buying this. We're just not hosters like that. Oh, look at the picnic basket, guys. Should I buy it? Although we never go on picnics. But I want one because it's so perfectly vintage. Oh my goodness. How much is it? I might buy this. $25. Guys, I'm going to buy this. Dave's going to be like, why, Wemmy? But I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to make us go on a picnic just so I can carry it. Yep, I'm buying it. <laughs> this is how I make my decisions. I'm buying it. I also would love this like stand here. But I just don't know if we'd use it, but I'm cons like, yeah, no, the bunnies would knock my plants off. <laughs> it's really not bad though for $50. It's not bad at all. For 50 bucks? Not a, not a bad deal. Anyways, I'm gonna go pay for my picnic basket. And go back in line again, although we just bought stuff. But I'm gonna go back in line. And go pick my picnic basket and I know my husband's gonna be like why Wemmy why why did you do this <laughs> but you guys saw and you guys know why because it's vintage that is the main reason why and it's gonna make me want to go on picnics <laughs> okay so while I was asleep we are back home and I have two main goals label some of the items in our pantry and sort through what I bought to realize how much I spent and decide if I'm gonna have to return anything if I've overspent. So that is the goal, okay? So let's just go through what I bought briefly. Sorry, my camera work is really wonky. Gotta get used to this life again. Um, so you guys already saw the picnic basket. I guess I could bring it over so you guys can see it again. So I bought the picnic basket. Show you guys the details on it. So it's got little like leather straps there that velcro together it's got the little lining and it opens on both sides i love it love it so i purchased that that was 25 dollars um and then these are the items that i bought that i'm not sure if i'll be keeping or not i bought this balloon guy in gold like a balloon dog I bought it in gold and I bought it in silver it's ten dollars each so I'll tell you guys why I bought it right so this is the silver I already have it in silver I have it here I have two giraffes and one dog so I bought it because I'm not sure if I want to double up with the dogs like that uh, this is not like letting me be great it's too bright but um yeah, I'm not sure if I want to double up with the dogs or if I want to keep it as a single. So that's why I bought it, just to test it out and see what I want to do with it. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now. I feel like it was better off with just one. I feel like now it's starting to look crowded. I don't know. It's hard to like focus with all the shine, but I feel like it was better with one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll wait to hear your feedback before I return it at 30 days. 
so yeah and then i bought the gold just if i wanted to put it somewhere else somewhere like the front door where i have a little bit more of a gold theme going on you know kind of plop it there and probably be more like back here you know plopping it back there so that's why i bought one of that's why i bought it in gold i bought it in silver um i haven't decided yet and actually now that i say that i just remembered i already have it in gold in the kitchen i have two so maybe i'll add this to the kitchen and have three because i don't know if it's, i have a lot of things in threes three has been my thing recently and i've been doing things in threes so there it is if we add the third oh you know what yeah i like i like it i like the three right what do you guys think again let me know in the comments should i make it three or should i leave it at two should i put it by the front door should i just return it let me know your thoughts but i think i like it. i'm gonna keep it right there for now and we'll see i think i like it i think i like it like that so those are the two things um oh and i bought there's two more things to show you guys i bought another shirt the same shirt i'm wearing the cashier convinced me to get it in white she's like it's a fabulous shirt you should absolutely have it in both colors so i said fine and i bought it in white believe it or not guys it's only 13 dollars. it looks like it's an expensive shirt 13 dollars. and i bought a black one for my friend as well because she wanted it so i bought her one um i bought this yellow shirt for myself because i have i when i con married my excuse me when i con married my closet last year i got rid of my yellow shirt and i love you guys know i love yellow and i had this beautiful yellow like simple shirt like this i got rid of it because it had really like um pilled it had pilled a lot and just yeah it was i'd had it since i think first year of university so it had seen its days so i'm trying to replace it so i found this and i bought it we'll see if i keep it or not i already bought it before in a medium medium was too big so i was hunting around for the small finally found the small today so i'll try it on later to see if i really do want it or not or if it just didn't look good on me and it wasn't a matter of size you know sometimes things just don't look good on you whether they're the right size or not so i bought that i think that was also a 13 dollars shirt and then i bought this beautiful tray here okay so i bought this tray here this tray was 25 dollars and the goal for this tray is you guys are gonna think i'm so silly i know dave's gonna definitely think i'm silly for this but it's just all about getting the vision right so here's the vision that i had in mind i'll explain it to you guys and hopefully you guys get it okay so the vision I had in my mind, in mind for my house is like, you know, glam, mirrored, silver, just glam style. Is this bent? Oh, this is bent. I'm so mad. Just a second. As I was saying, the goal for my house is glam. Um, I, I do like a contemporary glam, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, so I bought this. I've had this on our dining table, on our island here, pretty much since we did the island back in October. And it's just a marble lazy susan sorry my paper towel's caught here it's just a marble lazy susan that acts as a catch-all it holds my plant it holds our toilet paper holder salt and pepper and a candle those are the kind of permanent things that stay there everything else is kind of you know stuff we should probably not have there like batteries but i realized the other day that it doesn't really match my glam look and I was, you know, scrolling through Instagram home decor photos and I was like, that's what I'm missing. A glam tray on my table. So I purchased this. I love the Lazy Susan idea because paper towel can kind of be accessible anywhere. I just, I like that. You know, I tr usually turn my plants towards the sun in the mornings. Like I just, so I was like, you know what, maybe I'll lift up the marble, the Lazy Susan and put it on the mirror. And that way I kind of have the best of both worlds. So let's try that out and see if it works. So the first test was obviously, does it even fit? And it is, it is a perfect fit. Look at that. Like can't even get it, like it is a perfect fit. So, and uh, no, this is a silly idea because then you got to roll it at the top. All of a sudden you can't do this anymore. 
you know, have to do like a, I feel like Dave's going to be like, this is silly. Let's step back. I think it looks good, guys. I don't know. I think it looks good. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Let's fix the aperture on here so that it kind of shows up better for you guys. Obviously, I haven't put up, put away all the stuff that I used to cook last night. But you know how that goes, guys. Don't judge me. Like, yeah, I got to clean our counter. Don't judge. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think, okay? Taking opinions on this. Is this a silly idea? Is it a genius idea? To have it this way. I mean, I like it. But. Or should I have it the other way around? Should I sit the tray on top of the marble? So that you can still spin the tray but then you can actually see the glam. Let's try that. Okay, so there's presentation number two, where the marble's sitting underneath, the tray's on top, and then you can kind of have the glam visual. Let me know what you guys think. Please, please, please comment below and let me know your thoughts, okay? So these are the decisions that I have to make in how I want to decorate my space. I'm gonna be honest, I think I like it with the marble underneath. Because, so then you can do this, right? You can do that and it turned, but really it's the tray underneath that's turning. I think I like this better. Anyways, that's what I'm going for. <sighs> First of all, problems, am I right? So that's all I bought today. Um, let me know your comments and stuff and ideas. Oh God, it's so dark over here. Um, let me know your comments and um, what you guys think I should do with those items that I asked your opinion on. I'd really love to hear because I try to make this, these decisions, but it's not always the easiest. All right. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. like pasta and shrimp? Yes. Yummy. Yes. Yes, I do. Yum. Yummy. Yummy.